Good morning, Calvary. I hope that you had a blessed weekend and had a chance to worship with us at one of our campuses. I've got a question for you. Have you ever been taken advantage of in a financial deal? Didn't you hate it? You were hoping for fairness, but instead, you didn't even get what you paid for. You know, God hates those kinds of crooked deals too. Look at what it says in Proverbs 11, verse 1. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Now, you've got to think back to ancient times. Weights and balances were a major way that they would tell if they were getting a fair deal. Maybe you could trade three pounds of barley for five pounds of wheat. And if the balance or the weights of the merchant were rigged, they could take advantage of their customers. And Proverbs 11.1 1 tells us that God hates this kind of dishonesty. Maybe you've been taken advantage of in a deal, but maybe you are the one who has took advantage of others. Maybe you've been the mastermind behind some shady business deals. Well, God hates that dishonesty, like he hates all sin. But there's some good news. Jesus changes hearts and makes us able to set straight those shady deals. Now, you probably know the story of Zacchaeus. He was vertically challenged, and he was a tax collector. Like other tax collectors, he had taken advantage of dishonest dealings to line his own pockets. One day, Jesus was coming into Zacchaeus' hometown. Zacchaeus was so short that he had to climb up in a tree to look over the crowd in order to see Jesus. And when Jesus came to that tree, he looked up and he told Zacchaeus to come down because he wanted to stay at his house. Zacchaeus was, of course, excited about this news, and he welcomed Jesus into his home for a meal. By the end of Jesus' visit, Zacchaeus had experienced life change. In Luke 19, we read that Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. If you, like Zacchaeus, have a past of shady financial dealings, the good news is that Jesus can change your heart. Jesus can help you change and make restitution wherever it's appropriate. Be sure to talk to Jesus about that today. Now, maybe you're listening to this and thinking, I haven't been dishonest with anybody, but I certainly have been taken advantage of. Well, Jesus can help you too. In Ephesians, we're encouraged to forgive just as Jesus has forgiven us. Let me encourage you to give that hurt to God. Seek his power so you're ready to offer forgiveness. And if you need to seek out some godly counsel to help you restore that broken relationship, I would encourage you to do it. So, if today's word for the day has been helpful, please be sure to like it, share it, or leave a comment. Have a blessed day.